In this presentation, we will see about the last substitution technique, the one-time pad. As usual, let's start the session with the outcomes. Upon the completion of the session, the learner will be able to Outcome number one, we will understand one-time pad encryption scheme. Outcome number two, we will know the two fundamental difficulties of one-time pad encryption technique. And outcome number three, we will know about perfect secrecy. We know the classical encryption techniques is of the substitution technique and the transposition technique. We are now in the last substitution technique, which is the one-time pad. Let's dive into the topic of the day, one-time pad. In the last lecture, we have seen about Vernum cipher. The Vernum cipher proposed by Gilbert Vernum actually used repeating keywords. And in the last lecture, we confirmed that if the repeating keyword is used, then obviously it lacks security because the code can be easily broken. And that's why we are going for the next technique, the one-time pad. This is an improvement to the Vernum cipher. Say the main difference between this Vernum cipher and the one-time pad Vernum cipher is that in the Vernum cipher, the keyword will be repeated. Whereas in the Vernum cipher one-time pad, the keyword is not repeated and the keyword is also truly random in nature. So obviously, this one-time pad yields the ultimate in security. You know why? Because we are going to use a random key and the key is not alone random. It is also to the length of the message. So random key is used that is as long as the message. Since the key is random and this is also as long as the message, so there is no need for the key to be repeated. So this one-time pad offers better security when compared to the original Vernum cipher. And not only this, we have one more additional feature. The name says that it is one time. What is this one time? Here it is. In addition to the random key and the length of the key is also equal to the length of the message and the key is not repeated. In addition to this, the key is to be used to encrypt and decrypt a single message and then is discarded. It means a key is used for encrypting and decrypting a single message. Once the key is used, that random key is discarded. So that key will not be used for any other messages to be encrypted or decrypted. Since the random key is used exactly one time, this technique is called as a one-time pad. So this one-time pad offers the ultimate security in the entire history of cryptographic algorithms because this randomness is the main reason and not only randomness, this key is used exactly once and then it is discarded. So there will be no way for the attacker to find and know the key. So it is confirmed that the key is used exactly once so for each new messages, new key is required because one key is used for encryption and decryption. Once it is used, it is discarded. So for each new messages require a new key of the same length as the new message. And that's why we can say such a scheme is known as a one-time pad and which is unbreakable in nature. Let's deal more on this one-time pad. And we also can get the random output. Why? The plain text is there. Random key is used and obviously the output will also be random. It means the ciphertext will also be a random ciphertext. When attacker receives the ciphertext, if he has already guessed a key, obviously that key will not be matching here because for every new message, new key is used and only once the key is used, right? And that's why there will be no statistical relationship to the plain text. And you know why there will be no statistical relationship to the plain text? Because the ciphertext contains no information whatsoever about the plain text. There is simply no way to break the code. And that's why we say the code is unbreakable in one time pad. And hence I can conclude like this. The security offered by this one time pad algorithm is entirely due to the randomness of the key. So that's the theoretical aspects of one time pad. I told you this is offering the best level of security as of now. Then is there any drawback with this? Yes, of course, there are two fundamental drawbacks. Let's see that now. The two fundamental difficulties with one-time pad are number one, the practical problem of making large quantities of random keys. Can you understand this? See, for every new message, new key should be created and this key should be random in nature. So the practical problem of making large quantities of random key is the first fundamental difficulty with one-time pad. 
And not only this, since it is a symmetric encryption, so sender and receiver will be using the same key. And the second difficulty is the problem of key distribution and protection. You know why? Say there is a sender. This sender has created a message. To encrypt this message using this one-time pad Vernum cipher, he creates a new random key. And this random key must be distributed to the receiver. Because when the receiver wants to decrypt the cipher text, he needs the same key which was used by the sender, right? In that case, it invites the problem of key distribution. And protecting the key is also a problem here. And that's why I told you there are two fundamental difficulties of one-time pad. One is the practical problem of making large quantities of random key. And the second one which is even more daunting is the problem of key distribution and protection. And because of these two fundamental difficulties, the one-time pad is of limited utility and is useful primarily for low bandwidth channels requiring very high security. So we can say one thing that this one-time pad is offering the highest level of security but it is primarily used for low bandwidth channels because of these two drawbacks. Since one-time pad offers the highest level of security, we can say one-time pad offers perfect secrecy. Let's see what is perfect secrecy now. The one-time pad is the only crypto system that exhibits what is referred to as a perfect secrecy. There are lot of crypto systems or cryptographic algorithms are there and this one-time pad only exhibits the perfect secrecy. What is this perfect secrecy? Let's see the definition now. Perfect secrecy is the notion that given an encrypted message or a cipher text from a perfectly secure encryption scheme or cipher algorithm, absolutely nothing will be revealed about the unencrypted message or the plain text by the cipher text. Since in one time pad, nothing will be revealed about the unencrypted message or the plain text by the cipher text, we can say this one time pad exhibit perfect secrecy. And that's it guys. I hope now you understood one time pad encryption technique. We know the two fundamental difficulties of one time pad encryption technique. And we know about the perfect secrecy which one time pad only can offer. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. I'll see you in the next lecture and thank you for watching.